Welcome to Fordham University Presents Introduction to the Irish Tin Whistle. My name is Ryan Duns and I'm a Jesuit here at Fordham University. And behind the camera today we have Drew Marquardt, also a Jesuit at Fordham University. When I'm teaching, one of the common questions students ask is, Mr. Duns, can't we learn something fast? Well, that's what tape three was for. You learned a polka, and polkas are traditionally played pretty quickly. Today, however, we're going to take a step back and we're going to play something a little bit slower. To compensate, I've chosen a tune that's pretty commonly heard around Irish circles. We're going to learn the tune, The Star of the County Down. Now the attentive student will say, but I thought we had to learn fast things to learn complicated movements and complicated tunes. Well, that's kind of true. One of the problems with learning Irish music on your own, or not having a, a good teacher, is that you are tempted to move too quickly through tunes and through learning movements, and the result is sloppy playing. Having moved our tempo up a little bit on the polka, we slow down in this lesson in order to, to master really a tune that's going to offer us a, three different types of ornamentation. Today, you'll see demonstrated the tonguing exercise that we had in the, the supplemental video, and in the next two lessons, we will work on two types of ornaments that are key to good tin whistle playing, cuts and hits. We're not going to worry about those today. We're merely going to worry about the skeletal structure of the tune and getting the, the use of the tongue perfected in it. The tune, The Star of the County Down, is commonly heard. You will hear it in pubs. You may have it on one of the CDs in your car. It's like a Clancy Brothers type of tune. But it's a great tune for learning the proper placement of the tongue because it has so many uh, notes in sequence, lots of EEEs or BBs. This is great practice and a good place to, to really perfect our, our skills. I'm going to play it one time through, I'm going to stop, and then I'm going to play it two times through for you. Listen to the tune. This first time, maybe close your eyes, not only because you don't want to have to look at me the whole time, but let the music wash over you. Let yourself come to know the inner structure of the tune and then maybe watch my fingers on the second time I play it. The Star of the County Down. In the tune, there are a number of times that the note sequence of E, 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 or two Bs one after the other occur. It is so important that you learn how to separate those notes cleanly. So in that movement, you, we need to separate those three E's. If we don't do so, it just blurs together and it becomes sloppy. Remember, the fundamentals, those really basic movements of tin whistle playing are so crucial that it pays great dividends to slow ourselves down as we are doing in this tune and making sure that we have good tongue placement and later that we are able to execute cuts and hits in a clean and very precise manner. I'm going to play the tune one more time through. This time I'll play it twice through the tune. Irish musicians tend to play tunes two times through, so it's a good habit to get into, especially as you practice. When you're practicing, if you make a mistake, say during the first part, don't stop and rewind the tape. Just let it play. Keep following along. And then challenge yourself to go back at the beginning and work your way through the tune again. It's only by practicing the things that we find hard and not just doing the things we do well that you're going to begin to master the basics of tin whistle playing. The Star of the County Down.
as you can see, this is a pretty basic tune. Nevertheless, it gives us a good opportunity to exercise our skills in the very basic fundamentals of Irish tin whistle playing. By learning and providing yourself with a good, strong foundation, it will give you a great launching pad to enter into Irish music and claim your voice in the Irish tradition.